So I think it's about time I do a Solar Sunday series out here in California. This did not hold up at all. Oh well. So I have two big panels. Bigger panels than I have out in Illinois. I have a bunch of batteries and I have a lot more sun out here because well it's California. So we should put these on the roof up there. We should get my batteries. I haven't charged these batteries since like last October, so it's about six months. Let's we'll see if these even have any power in them, or if they're totally roached. About 12.3 volts. About 12.3 volts also. 12.4. 1.99. So that one's the lowest one, but they're all still pretty good. I bet these should pop up pretty quickly. So those are all good. And the panels, they have what's called an MC4 connector on the power leads. Normally I just hack these off and put a different easier to get connector on there. But I'm in Silicon Valley and Silicon Valley has a lot of nice junk stores. Halted Supply was selling some used MC4 connectors for like five bucks a pair. So I picked some up a while back. And I think what I'll do is I will strip these and, I'll get, and I got this extension cord I'll use this as the cable to go from the roof to the batteries and I'll solder these up so I'll make a nice long power transmission cable I will most likely put these to where it's the same connector on each wire because that way it'll be a 24 volt system since each one of these is 24 volts I could hook them, hook them in series to give me 48 volts but I don't really have much use for 48 volts and if I have them in series if one breaks well then both go out Okay, so I'm all done with this. So this will go to the solar panels. But check this out. I just realized I can do this right after I started cutting this thing up. So I have this connector. Well, I don't need to take that off. Oh, weird. Oh, you can actually lock it together. What the hell? That's cool. Well, anyway, so I can take the off cutting and make a little quick disconnector like that I like when things work so well so now let's just connect this up so we'll basically have one wire of each going to each panel we'll be splitting off like that or maybe not I just realized these aren't quite MC4 connectors or at least they're not compatible with the ones I have they're oddly shaped. These ones have a little protrusion on them. These ones have a weird thing on the inside. I'm so tempted just to rip these fuckers off, but they're kind of nice. So, I'm going to get my knife out and just whittle the plastic off. This is just stupid. I mean, if you're going to try to make them compatible, but then deviate from whatever all the other ones I've seen are, like the ones I have in Illinois, then what's the fucking point of using the MC4 connector? Are they just not going to work at all or something? This is stupid. There we go. Kinda. What? These aren't even the same ones? Fuck this. So. Fuck these engineers and their shitty designs. I ain't having it. Starting over. So I got tired of this bullshit, so I just soldered it directly to the panel. And I'm pretty happy with it, actually. I say let's get this onto the roof 
and start pulling some power. So we have the one panel, which, to be honest, until I start actually using the power, I don't really need that other one up here. So I'm just going to be using this one for now. I have some bricks holding the cable down. Actually, I'll move them up higher, so. Oh, I see the, the gravel is getting in the way. Well. I bet I could do that. Oh yeah, that's working okay. I don't know. I need to get one of those insulators that will hold it. But I have the power cable going down there. And I think I'm going to put my batteries underneath there. Underneath the little chicken coop. So this Duracell battery will be the first to charge because it is at 11.99 volts. I checked the voltage across these two terminals and it is 30 volts, so we can step up to charging two in series later, but I'm going to start with this one since it's the lowest. Oh, look at that. It is charging. Should be putting about 5 amps into the battery. You know, I can actually fill up this area quite a bit with stuff. It's pretty nice. After about 15 minutes, it's already up to 12.47 volts. Let's check what it goes down to, though. Oh, it's not going down very fast at all. So now I have these two batteries in series charging. Actually, wait. Yeah, they're charging. And they're, they raced by like 0.4 of a volt. So they're definitely charging. That's pretty good. And there we have all four batteries connected up. That is quite nice. So I'd really love for this to sit around 26 volts, because that would mean each battery is at like 13 volts. Actually, 27 would be better, because then we like 13 and a half. That would be really nice. So I, I, so I can let this sit for a couple days, probably charging. Especially since I only have one panel, and it's on that side of the roof, so it's probably not getting nearly as much light as if it was on that side of the roof. And so this probably gives me enough time to start tinkering with a battery control system. Because that's, that's the reason I'm doing this. I don't want to have a battery system out here. Or at least I don't really care to right now. But I want to see if I have some parts or something like that that I can use to build my own controller that won't crap out on me. My basic idea for the, for the charge controller is not to have a PWM style. You can see, like, for instance, all the ones that I've seen and all the ones that I've had, those cheap ones from eBay, they've all, they've, they've, they've broken the connection at a certain voltage. Usually PWM, so it, just, it, it breaks it, but then reconnects. But re reconnects just enough to keep the battery up to a, a specific voltage. Well, what I want to do is I want to capture all of the energy, so whenever the battery reaches full charge, it will then divert the power to like an electrolysis tank to 
generate hydrogen or something like that. So it's not that you would be just like disconnecting from the solar panels and losing that energy. You'd be then di diverting it from the batteries to something else that could be like a secondary power source or something like that. Or who knows? It could just even be something like powering a fan. Who cares? But instead of throwing the energy away, you know what I mean? So I think out here is going to be my experimenting on the circuitry side of it of trying to get something that that would work and then once I get something to work because of course it's Silicon Valley I have access to pretty much any component I could ever want there's stores I can go through and just rummage through all the stuff once I get something working I can mail it out to Illinois and I can hook it into that solar panel system and continue that because this would be kind of like my solar panel testing grounds or this would be more of my, my development area and then Illinois would be more of like the long-term tests of it. That'd be kind of cool. I almost forgot about this video. I haven't really been making much progress on it. I'm sick, but the, thir and the thing that makes me want to do it and finish this video is that I just it just occurred to me this Saturday, the day before I upload this, I'm going to be flying back to Illinois, and in Illinois I just ordered an MPPT controller for that battery system. So, it'd be weird to have the Solar Sundays out of order, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this. So this will just be a video testing the batteries. And then I can upload a video later of my battery system in Illinois. If I do it. Well, while I was out here, one of the people that I live with, they needed a battery for jump their their car. <clears throat> So I took apart the solar battery system and let them use a the battery. So the battery has not been charging, uh, those four batteries have not been charging for about a month now. So I figure if we check the voltage, we can get a really good view of how good the batteries are. It's like how much power they still have in them after a month of sitting. 12.26. This one is used to jumpstart a car though, so that's pretty good. That's... Uh, not the greatest. 2.48 and 12.48. 12.62, that's pretty good. Not bad for a month. 12.61. It's not the worst. It's not the greatest. But it could definitely use some more charging. It does prove that this is not going to just self-discharge. These batteries probably could actually be useful. So that's good. 25.1 volts and then... Eh, some power is going back into that battery. We can charge this up. Alright. It's a sunset, pretty much. That's probably not going to go up much. It looks like it's popping back up 0.1 of a volt, so that's pretty good. Well, that's pretty much it for now. At least I have a battery system and one solar panel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!